That's annoying, isn't it? Good morning. No, good afternoon. Ten past midday. From a an overcast, cold Chironte in France. Um, yeah. That door that goes from, well, I'll show you. La cave, la cave. Into the garage. Has never opened properly. So, got the multi tool and uh, thought I might give it a go. I tried to give it a go yesterday when the door was in situ. Absolutely mulled the bottom of the door. Didn't make any, any bit of difference. You weren't in the mood. I wasn't in the mood. <laughs> it was a job bestowed upon me with immediate effect from Lisa, who got really annoyed with not being able to open it. She goes, now they've got the multi-tool. Um, all right, we'll do it. And I did it. I did a half hour's job. Oh. Did a half hour's job. I'm gonna have to take the door off. I'm gonna do that now. Well, this door opens nicely now. A lot better. The kitchen door was sticking. So Lisa wants me to do that too. So I've taken that off. Here we go.
let's see if this works. Right, should we see if this works? Open the door another four times before that would even go over the lip. But yeah, it opens wide enough for Lisa now. And she's she's enjoying the extra three inches. <laughs> Sorry. And out of all that. Yeah, Lisa was worried that uh, I was implying that she was uh, she was too fat to get through the door. No, I wasn't implying that. She just wants the door open wider. There it is. Clarification delivered. Right, so there we have it. Another day done in front. Um, did quite a bit. I managed to sort out two doors. Um, so they now swing open fully. Um, off camera, I managed to uh, sort out uh, the electrics for my it's back to sort out my heated uh, gloves and uh, jacket. It's getting cold, it was three degrees this morning. And um, you know, the bits and bobs too. Oh, exciting news. Um, the project <coughs> that was due to start in February is now starting in January. So we've been speaking um, with the gent that came round today. So we're starting to bring materials on site very, very soon. So that's really, really exciting. So we'll have an, an office and a um, a bedroom and uh, and I've offered my services as a willing um, less able apprentice so uh, yeah tomorrow I'm gonna take Lisa out for a drive uh, take her for something to eat I'll bring you along with us uh, you for part of that which leaves one last thing left to say if you like these videos please subscribe hit the like button hit the notification bell uh, add a comment thumbs up thumbs down whatever um, and it leaves one last thing left to say. And it's from me. Laters! Now, given that this attack happened to a man and there can be particular problems related to people coming forward with this kind of attack, there could be other victims out there. Yeah, that's right. And nobody sh should suffer in silence. Uh, the victim has been extremely brave in coming forward to us. And if there are any victims out there, I need them to be inspired by the victim's bravery and come forward and speak to us to stop these extremely dangerous individuals. There could be men who are other victims, but also these two you think could strike again and it could be anyone at all. Well, we can't say that this is sexually motivated and we can't say that it's racially motivated either. We don't know that the next, that the next victim could be a man, a woman or even a child and we need anyone to come forward so we can stop them. We certainly do, Rob. Thanks for joining us.